Hi everybody and welcome to Shane's Minis. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a World War II British infantryman um, from our last video. Now normally I would paint them still on the lollipop sticks but for the sake of speed in this video and uh, just to simplify everything for you I've attached this fella to a little bit of sprue and I'll just be working on him. Um, I use the exact same colours and the exact same techniques uh, when painting on the lollipop sticks so if you're going to do it using one of these it's the same steps you just batch paint them and, and repeat them across each model right let's get started so here we have everything needed to paint uh, our miniature obviously we have the figure himself and we have got all the paints lined up here I will be using uh, Russian uniform black grey khaki English uniform um, Army Painter Strong Tone Wash, Flat Brown, Black, Basic Skin Tone and Dark Sand. Uh, to get the figure ready for painting, the only additional step I took was to uh, undercoat him with a spray of uh, Plastic Soldier Company's British Khaki. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my uh, English uniform and I'm going to touch up any areas the spray paint may have missed and um, just make the uniform a little brighter because this spray tends to be quite dark. So I'll just pop a bit of paint on my palette. I'll grab a drop of clean water, mix it in a bit. This just uh, helps the paint to flow a little better. and then I will start going over his uniform. Okay, so this stage you're not going to notice uh, a lot of difference. Um, all that is basically done is neatened up any mistakes uh, that were missed from the spray paint and just added a bit of brighter shade to uh, to the highlight points on the model such as you know the knees and the tops of the shoulders uh, the next thing I'm going to do is paint all his webbing um, that will include any straps on the front of the model uh, his backpack as well as the gaiters around the top of the boots so I'll take my car keys for paint give it a shake Drop a bit on there. And again, I'll add a touch of water just to help the paint flow that little bit better. And I will start painting the webbing and the backpack and the gaiters. Okay, so there we can see that I've painted his webbing straps, uh, the gaiters, and the backpack using khaki. Now the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'll paint his skin, and for that I'll be using basic skin tone. So make sure you give it a shake. Same as before, tiny bit on the palette. And then we'll start slapping this on. So that's the skin painted, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using black to paint the boots and the scabbard for his bayonet that is on the side of the miniature here.
Okay, so the boots and the scabbard are painted black. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is paint his helmet using Russian uniform uh, World War II. That's the helmet done, and the uh, next stage is to pick out the wooden parts of the rifle uh, using flat brown. And with that section done, uh, I'm now going to use black grey to pick out the metal sections on the rifle. With that done, uh, the last detail I want to pick out uh, are the hessian strips on top of his helmet and the strap going underneath the rifle. And for this I will be using dark sand. Those are the last of the main colours to be blocked in. Um, so now what we'll do to add a bit of shading and a bit of interest to the model, we will use Army Painters Quick Shade Strong Tone. Now all this is, it's like a really thin down paint. It's designed to flow into all the uh, creases and crevices of the model uh, to bring out the detail. So you only need a small amount of this. I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush, say probably this size is probably a little bit too big, but I find it works for me. And then you just paint it on all over the model. So that is the wash applied. Um, you're probably thinking, what on earth have you done to that model? But trust me, once it's dried, it'll look a lot better. So we'll just wait for that to dry now, and I'll show you the finished result of my uh, quick painting guide for British infantry. OK, so here's the finished miniature. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you, and um, it's just a quick video showing simple techniques of how you can get 15mm miniatures uh, tabletop ready. Um, I'll hope you join me next time on Shane's Minis where I'll probably take you through either painting this building here or maybe another one of my Sherman Fireflies. Okay, see you next time.